No, I was in a I was in a trade this morning and it was a goal. We we called GBP CAD and GBP CAD broke out the bottom zone. We caught the sale and then it shot right back up, caught the buy on it. Um, I didn't I didn't take the buy on it. Some people did. I just caught the sale and was done. I made like two thousand dollars or something like that. So, but, but the main trade was gold. So what is it? So buy buy low, sell high. Buy low, sell high. Okay. Yep. So hey, I think I might make that a song. Buy low, sell high. Fifteen pips to get by. Fifty pips to live life. Uh, I would you think? Yeah, that that could be a banger. You think that's a banger? Buy low, sell high. Fifteen pips to get by. Fifty pips you, to live life. I you, like that. Are you still making that song about London? London, yep, London. London is actually I'm going to London. Uh, Feb, no, we're February. both we're both going to London. Yep. February. 28th and 29th. Now we're gonna be there for four days. Now you know we can't be in London for two days. You feel me? Shoot. We gonna be there for four days, almost a week. We gonna we gonna do the Forex conference, and we're gonna be um, recording a music video to, for the London song I got going on. London, London, London. Keep them trades coming. So when are yeah. you? Yeah. So when are you gonna start actually going to ask somebody to make the song? Like in November? So, no, so when I so I'm I'm basically I found the beat to it, I got the hook to it. Now I'm gonna send it out to my guy to record his parts to it, and then while he doing his, I'm so when am I gonna do that? I'm thinking around November. I told yeah, you, end of yeah, November. yeah. Probably I'm gonna start working on that next month. I don't want to be rushing that song because I want to get it properly mixed, mastered. Um, I'm probably gonna have copies, physical copies for people to buy, even though nobody really buys CDs. You just still gotta have it. So I'm probably gonna have that. Plus, um, I'm gonna have them for download. People gonna download it on iTunes, all that stuff. Just so, just like how the pips from. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I think this one, London, is gonna be super epic. Then I got one that's that that I already almost got done. It's called Late Nights. Late, late nights. Late nights. Late nights. It's yeah, super I, I, dope. I think that's gonna pop out more. That late nights. Late nights. Late late nights. Okay, that, that's mm -hmm. kind of pop right there. You like that? So you like that? Just a little, yeah. A that's, little taste. A little, that, taste. that boy dope, bro. That boy dope. Taste. But anyway, what I was saying was gold, bro. Like, first of all, the symbol for gold is what? Like XAU, you know that? XAU, yeah. XAU right. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, gold is mostly correlated with um, the Australian dollar. Okay, you, you already know the Aussie dollar. So, to, to know if it's weak or strong, you just go look at the heat wave, right? And it, heat wave for Australian dollar. And and if the you know the U.S. dollar is 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 in the red, you know it's kind of weak, 2.8. Yeah. Then you can expect that gold is probably most likely going up, all right? About yeah. And so then you can kind of gauge it and correlate it with the Australian dollar strength or weakness. Now I think <clears throat> so. Remember that video on your YouTube channel about like uh, the heat wave? Yeah. Or change your whole mindset about? I do need to. To expound on that in another video, but yeah. Yeah, I like that video. I really do like that video about when you was talking about the heat wave currency. Currency heat wave changed. This app changed my life. Yeah, that. Yeah, the currency heat wave changed my life. I never trade without the currency heat wave because basically I don't use it to help me find a trade, to help me buy or sell whatever currency pair. I don't use it for that. But what I use it for is a strong confirmation and. What, what's, what's scary is this, yo, um, what's scary is this, son, is that what if the currency heat wave goes away? I don't think it's going away. But if it does, I don't want to be so reliant on the currency heat wave to where if they're doing a system update, you feel me? Because it's software and they got to update. And so if they're doing a system update, I don't want to be helpless without it. So I got to figure out, I'm so right now I'm studying how to really get by without that. Now it's good to have it, but can you you can you can trade without it though? And so I've become so dependent on it, and this is just real, me hollering at you real talk, I've become so dependent on it that if it goes away, I'm afraid that I might not be able to be, be confident in my trades. Don't be like that. So you know one way how to trade, right? So like with the two dots going down, mm -hmm. and the two dots going up, so you know that's going to go up. I, yeah. I forgot That's how the, it goes. the parabolic SAR dots. Yeah. Parabolic SAR dots. Yeah. I forgot what, what 
so if it's so so the way that works is if you're in a buy if you're in a buy and the uh the candle bursts through the dot then it's showing that momentum is going up it is the the candles are should be the the candles should be shooting up by then now now so far you've been going good with that yeah yeah how yeah. many times you lost off that of doing that oh uh, man yeah. so if we haven't lost in probably like a week or two weeks now over two weeks we haven't really lost i think if we did happen to lose or break even like once or twice and we then took over t over 20 25 trades so now because you had like like actually looked it up how to work that that method have yeah. you been doing good with your money so far oh yeah absolutely bro absolutely um from from august august 2018 till now i'm at i'm at 50 59,000 dollars from august august 2018 to today is what october, october 3rd yeah. 2019 October third, twenty nineteen, yeah. and I'm at fifty fifty nine thousand. Fifty. So you. The goal is to get to a hundred, baby. I get to a hundred thousand. You. I'm already. I already told you. I'm. I'm. I'm giving you fifty k. By the time you get eighteen, I want Why? fifty. But look at this card, man. It's silly. Why? Silly, bro. You couldn't wait. Why? You couldn't wait. They, People out here stupid. I'm, I'm making a promise to you. By the time you graduate, I want you to have. Between thirty to fifty thousand dollars in your trading account. I feel like that's better than me just handing you ten thousand dollars as a gift. I'm gonna put fifty thousand dollars in your trading account, and then I won't let you trade it until you do good in your demo account. Yeah. But that money can change your life, bro, for the rest of your life. You will never have to even work a little nine to five job. So you're talking about me for fifty k, but you know, if you didn't know that there's gonna be two things coming. Yeah, I'm gonna lead them. But by the time they get old, your age, we gonna be millionaires. True. So you say so 50k or 30k for me, and probably like a hundred thousand, hundred thousand or fifty thousand, something like that. For who? For Roman Warren. No, we are gonna be millionaires. So they might start out with a hundred thousand. You know, they might start out with a hundred thousand a piece. You know, maybe three hundred thousand. Like. It's no, it's no limit at that point, bro. Between me and you, we're gonna be millionaires. It's, it's gonna be stupid money flowing. Like we're trying to leave a legacy. You feel me? True, I'm not gonna be jealous. Well, why would you be jealous? They made, why would you be you, jealous? You, you gave, You're gonna be a millionaire, bro. But you said that you was gonna give me thirty thousand or fifty k. Well, that's because I'm not a millionaire yet. I can only do what I can do now. Be patient. But here's the thing. We're see. Let me tell you something, man. The reason why I believe that God blessed me the way he has and, and, and really catapulted my career in trading is because I'm not doing this to be, uh, to, no, like, no, I'm not doing this to be super rich right now. I'm willing to sacrifice to make the people that's coming after me rich. I'm like, like Martin Luther King. I'm not trying to compare myself to Martin Luther King or anybody, but like he, he didn't care if he didn't, if he didn't get all the glory at the time that he was doing it. He wasn't getting all the glory at the time he was doing those marches and protests and going against the uh, Ku Klux Klan and all of them. But he knew, he, but he was really doing that to pave the way for me and you right today. And now we're giving him glory now. That's the kind of same situation I'm trying to put myself in. I don't mind not being rich today i don't mind not being famous today but what i'm trying to do i i fully commit and submit myself to paving the way for the people that's coming after me for my family and kids that's coming after me and so i i want them to succeed i want them to have it easy i want forex being taught at every school you know what i'm saying and and i'm about to do that i'm about to make a movement I, when I say Team Take Profits is on the move, the movement is real. It's bigger than taking profits in the forex market. That's that's easy now. That's easy. It's it's all about making moves out here, far as like changing lives and, and leaving legacies and stuff for for years and years and beyond just my family, beyond just you and my twins. That's coming, kids. That's around the world. People in Africa, people in 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 Guatemala, all of them. Like I want everybody. Affected in a positive way by this. So, so yeah, that's that's the that's what's up, bro.